Hey guys, how is your NCLEX review going? Now, today we will go over various important respiratory medications that you will most likely encounter in an NCLEX exam. Now, one of the acronyms that you need to remember uh, for this video is BREAD, okay? And yes, it's spelled BREAD, B-R-E-A-D. And let's go over what it stands for. Again, these are categories of respiratory medications, okay? Now, BREAD stands for, B would be for bronchodilators, R would be for respiratory inhalants, E would be for expectorants, A would be for anti-tuberculars, and D for decongestions, okay? Now, on this video, I'll briefly go over each one, but I will not be too specific. I'll go over the contents that are, you know, vital to know for your NCLEX exam. Now, let's quickly take a look at the first one, which is your bronchodilators. Now, a bronchodilator is basically a substance that dilates the bronchi, right? <clears throat> Hence the name bronchodilator. And not only the bronchi, but also the bronchioles. And because of this, it results in a decreasing resistance in the respiratory airway, and therefore results in an increase of airflow into the lungs, okay? Now, take note that bronchodilators are most likely used on obstructive lung, um, lung diseases such as asthma and COPD or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, right? Which are a couple of diseases that are very vital to know for your NCLEX exam, okay? Now let's take a deeper look at bronchodilators. Now bronchodilators can either be short-acting or long-acting, okay? Now short-acting medications basically just means that it provides a quick relief, right? Or a rescue relief from, uh, from acute bronchoconstriction. On the other hand, long-acting bronchodilators help to control and prevent the symptoms, and obviously it's a more of a long-acting drug, okay? Now, the three types of bronchodilating drugs that you must know for your NCLEX exam would include B2 agonist, which can either be short and long-acting. Second one would be anticholinergics, which are usually short-acting. And lastly, is the theophylline, which is long-acting, okay? Now, let's start with the B2 agonist. Uh, what are B2 agonists? Basically, it's B2 adrenergic right? agonists. And basically, what it does is a class of drug that acts on the beta 2 adrenergic receptor, okay? And simply what it does is that it basically causes smooth muscle relaxation. And this, in turn, causes a dilation of the bronchial passages. And this is primarily used with patients with asthma, right? Now, a couple of the most common medications that you will most likely see in your NCLEX in this category would include albuterol and levobuterol. Now, if you know anybody who has asthma, you know that albuterol is basically their lifesaver, right? Now, let's look at the side effects. So here are some of the adverse reactions that you have to know for the NCLEX. Now, tachycardia is one of the main uh, side effects. And the reason for this is it's due to the fact that the peripheral vasodilation and the cardiac muscle stimulation that is uh, caused right by this drug causes a tachycardia and we have to be careful as a nurse because tachycardia can be accompanied by uh, heart palpitations right now other side effects can also include tremor sweats and agitation okay now let's go ahead and take a look at anticholinergics understand that we are looking at anticholinergic medications as basically a bronchodilator relative to respiratory diseases, okay? Now, some examples of anticholinergics that you will most likely encounter in your NCLEX exam is thiotropium, which is Periva, and ipratopium, uh, ipratopium bromide, okay? Now, thiotropium. Thiotropium is basically a long-acting anticholinergic bronchodilator, like I mentioned before, and specifically its use in management of a chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD. Now, it's available as an inhalant only, okay? On the other hand, Ipratropium bromide is used in the treatment of both asthma and COPD, and also to be more efficient, it is, used, it is most likely used or paired with a short-acting B2 agonist, okay? Now, lastly, let's look at our last category of bronchodilator, which is your drug theophylline. Now, that's another drug that is an important drug that you really need to know for your NCLEX exam. Now, theophylline is is basically a long-acting bronchodilator that prevents asthma episodes and it's available both in oral and injectable form, okay? Now, theophylline is special. It's special because it's usually prescribed in more severe cases of asthma, right? And those are more difficult to control, okay? Now, let's look at the, the side effects for theophylline. Side effects can include nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. But our patient can also be tachycardiac and have a rapid or regular heartbeat. So as a nurse, we need to take note of this because 
these symptoms may signal the need for an adjustment of the medication, okay? Now, also important thing to take note for the NCLEX is that theophylline can promote acid reflux, okay, also known as GERD. And this is due to the fact that this medication causes a relaxation within the lower esophageal sphincter muscle, right? And this can cause uh, GERD, so we need to be mindful of that. Now, lastly, there are some important drug interactions that you do need to know for this medication. Um, some ulcer medications, and especially antibiotics containing erythromycin, can actually interfere with the way theophylline works, so please take note of that for the NCLEX exam. Now, this is it for now. I will go over more of the rest of the respiratory drugs and more of the categories on the next few videos. Again, I want to thank you guys so much for your time, and I applaud you for using as much content and information that you can find out there to help you pass your NCLEX exam. Again, thank you so much for your help and taking your time. Again, thank you so much, and if you are interested in supporting me with helping me make more of these videos, please visit allnursingnotes.com. That's allnursingnotes.com, and there's an NCLEX course in there that has helped thousands of NCLEX takers uh, pass their exam. Again, thank you so much, guys. I wish you the best in your exam. Thank you, and God bless.